When you look at videos online about woodworkers and you read in magazines, you may run across some different styles of planes that may be unfamiliar to you. Well, today I want to kind of point out some of the differences between these different styles of planes and, and maybe even give you a little bit of their history. The first one I want to talk about is a very simple plane. All it is is a wood body and a wedged and an iron. Now, the wedge's job is to hold the iron in place so that it doesn't move as you're using it. Now, if we look at the bottom of this plane, it kind of looks like a uh, coffin. So between the shape and the size of this plane, it's called a coffin smoother. So it's just a little bit of interesting history there. Now, you'll find some craftsmen still use this style of plane and it does a very fine job when it's sharpened and set up properly. This one is uh, kind of a unique style. Uh, it's a European style plane. It's got a actual horn shape on the front for your hand. And this particular plane, sometimes planes of this style will just use a wedge assembly, much like the coffin smoother. But this one has a, a rather uh, involved mechanism for depth adjustment and lateral adjustment for the blade. This is a traditional Western style steel body hand plane. It's been around for well over a hundred years and it's got a tried and true design. All of the mechanisms for adjusting the blade have been refined over the years and when this thing is tuned up, you get excellent results. This particular style of plane may look a little strange to us Westerners, but actually the design has been around for centuries. It originated in China and then the Japanese adopted it. Now, if you look in here, there's a simple cap iron and an iron in a wood body. Now, if you look at the iron, what's different and unique about it is that it is very thick. And generally speaking, these are handmade, hand forged by a, a very skilled blacksmith in Japan. Now for this style of plane to adjust the blade depth and the lateral position, you actually use a mallet or a hammer. So you tap it to increase the depth and you can tap the side to make sure that the cutting edge is parallel with the bottom of the plane body. And then to remove the iron, you just give it a couple good whacks on the back and it, the whole assembly pops out. So these are just a few examples of the different styles of hand planes you may run across. I just wanted to give you a quick overview the two, probably the two most common in use are the traditional style steel body hand plane. And a lot of woodworkers are, are using the Japanese style plane. But you'll also find these other planes in use as well.